Watch yourself, Knowles. I'm going to stand next to you. Remember to stay still. Remain calm. They're dangerous, yes. But their senses aren't as developed as one would imagine. As long as we remain quiet, they may go past. Look, they're turning away now. Gently, take a few steps back. I'll go with you. You didn't worry about your safety. My sword is with me. Not to mention my magic. As long as you are aware of where you are, you don't have anything to worry about. It's just dirt behind you. You didn't worry on standing on a twig. That's good. Sink to the ground now. I'll watch. Rest for a little. Thank you for rousing me from my rest. A null band isn't too much to worry about, but I'm glad I was warned of them either way. At least someone's doing their job around here. They're leaving now. Thank you for waking me. I suppose that letting you get to sleep might be a little difficult. It's not as though I really need much more sleep. And it's my turn to watch anyway. Though, seeing gnolls eat their own is something I imagine doesn't sit well in one's mind when it's time to go to bed. Oh well. It's my turn for watch. If you'd like, you can just sit here with me. Around the fire. Clouds are going over the moon, so you probably won't be able to see beyond the glow of my eyes. But that's all right. I think that I should be able to keep watch on my own. Besides, it's my turn anyway. You don't need to stay awake. More that I'm allowing you. Besides, if any get past my eyes, my ears will surely keep us safe. So, I see you're sitting next to me. I suppose I can't stop you. I mean, my could, but there's not too much of a point. It is a rather nice night, I suppose. Very dark. Dangerous, but our fire's gone out. It's pretty hard for us to get caught like this. By Knowles or anyone's. Besides, we're pretty stealthy. I don't think anyone followed us. With ears like these, I doubt anyone would have slipped past me anyway. Seriously. You're going to make yourself sick if you keep worrying. Relax. That's an order. <laughs> it's not really. Obviously. But it is a very friendly suggestion from a very good friend, or so I like to think. So, 
want to heat up some of the old food. We probably have some stew left over from tonight. Or yesterday now. If you don't want any, that's fine, though. I was just suggesting. But I don't really need to eat much more. My ears? Yes, they are real. <laughs> Something of an odd thing to say, don't you think? They are real, I assure you. That's why they match my hair, isn't it? And they do allow me better hearing than a normal human. Beast can usually have that, don't they? Well, at any rate... I've certainly got better sight. The glow of my eyes is something of a giveaway, but it's much worth the ability to see in the dark. The tale is real, too. I could see the question in your eyes before you asked. And yes, it does get caught in things. Folks with tails usually learn pretty young to keep them out of doors and to give themselves a wide berth when going through a closing door or a rocking chair. But, regardless, I've had more than my fair share of slings. Some might say that I'm a a little unfortunate, but I choose to think of myself as tough. I guess that's a pretty optimistic way of thinking about your various hurts, but I think it's better than the alternative, don't you? Nothing like a brace of optimism to keep you from smiling instead of crying, right? <laughs> well you seem to have calmed down that's good a couple of gnolls couldn't really bother us anyway we're all pretty tough mean too me especially my appearance is one thing, but my ability to be feral, as you've put it in the past, is unmatched. I can fight with the best of them. That is why I got hired, after all. Naturally. The sword isn't for show, either. It's real as the ears are, which is to say that it is real, of course. You know, of all the humans I've met, you're one of the few who is almost not surprised at all by me. And that surprises me. I've never been sure why. Own a lot of cats. Deal with a lot of beast kin in the past? I feel as though I know you. Sorry. I guess that was something of an odd thing to say. But that I already did know you before we met. Well. Now that I've made it nice and awkward, you can definitely go to your tent if you'd like. It's still set up. No? Very well. 
I guess I'll have to try harder to get you to screw off then, huh? Oh, that was a joke. You don't have to go. I would like you to stay. I mean, it's up to you. You don't, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, you can stay here all night. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, it's my watch. I don't really get to go anywhere. It's that or let everyone get torn apart by Knowles, right? And frankly, I'm almost certain that you people will pay better than the Knowles. No offense. Why, yes, it is cold. Your point? I suppose, but... Certainly. I wouldn't take offense at that at all. Let's go up close to me. It'll make sure you don't get too chill in the night. It's a great way to get sick being out here. <sighs> Sorry, I'm drifting. We cats like our naps, right? <laughs> Of course. That's only because I just haven't finished waking up yet. It won't be too long, though. And then I'll be ready to hunt. Or, you know, sit here for another five hours until everyone else wakes up. Such is the life of the night guard. Good old night's watch, right? As first nights go, this isn't too bad. Though, I think I would rather spend it in that building. I rather much do like my comfort. Yeah, I know. I'm picky. I'm still something of a kitten. Not that it really means much to you. Closer? I suppose you can. No, this isn't uncomfortable. I'm just not used to having anyone leaning on me. It's rather nice. You're not disturbing me now. You can rest if you want. I won't move you or anything. I'll try to stay still so I don't disturb you. Yes. Go ahead. Sleep if you need to. I mean it. I'm sure you could find more comfortable pillows than my shoulder, but there are worse places to sleep, I guess. <laughs> Good night, my friend. Hmm. I suppose as comfort goes, this is pretty cozy. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Though, too much comfort and I'll sleep to my watch. <laughs> huh. 
Oh, well. You're already asleep, huh? Or just very good at faking it. Well, rest, my friend. I'll wake you first in the morning to make sure no one catches you. Stay safe, little friend. I'll keep watch on you. For you. <laughs> Rest now. Rest.